and welcome to The Honest Channel. I'm Claire Johnston, a journalist with a keen interest in all things anti-aging and how to age well. And in the past few years, you'll have begun to notice more and more sleep aids coming onto the market aimed at preventing sleep wrinkles. Those lines that can form on your face at night when it's squished against the pillow or so the theory goes. Now, you can buy special pillows with holes cut at the side to relieve pressure. We've got anti-wrinkle sleep masks. We've got patches that you can wear all over your face and even on your chest at night. And we're told to sleep on silk pillowcases to avoid cotton creases on our skin too. But does splashing out on one or more of those things actually make a real difference? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share my experience of trying out all those products and share the ones I continue to use to date. So firstly, are sleep wrinkles even a thing? Well, lines and sagging on our face are caused by a reduction in the amount of collagen and elasticity in our skin as we age, hastened of course by photo-aging if we go around regularly with unprotected skin in the sun. But our aging skin is also prone to sleep wrinkles if we're sleeping on our side or even on our front with our face pressed into a pillow. The solution would be to sleep on your back, but if you're anything like me, it just doesn't feel comfortable. I'm pretty set on side sleeping, and I didn't realize how much this was contributing to sagging and lines, particularly around my eyes, until I replaced my pillow. So a few years back, I got something called the Sealy Spine Alignment Pillow, which I did this video on, and I bought it to support my neck and spine as I slept because I was getting quite a lot of stiffness in my neck. It was a firmer pillow than I was used to, and as well as improving my neck stiffness, I noticed that I wasn't getting so much fluid buildup around my eyes in the morning, which had been a bit of an issue for me and was definitely exacerbating my eyelids sagging. But even with the new pillow, there were still days, depending on how I was sleeping the night before, that it was still happening and contributing to the sagging around my eyes. So although there was an improvement with a firmer pillow, it wasn't a cure-all. And then, when I went on holiday last summer and the rental home we were staying in had these really, really soft pillows that your face just sort of sunk into, I found it hard to sleep on it for a start, but my face was just sloping downwards into this pillow and then getting compressed. And when I woke up in the mornings, every single morning, my eyes were really puffy and creased. So that definitely made me much more aware of how what I was sleeping on was contributing to my skin. And so I decided in the first instance to try a silk pillowcase. Now the brand that kept coming up was Lily Silk. So I have a couple of their envelope pillowcases. I'll link to the products I mentioned in the description and I've got discount codes for some of them, including 12% off at Lily Silk. Their cases are around $39 each, so they're at the pricier end, but it's a high quality mulberry silk case. I also now use their hair scrunchies because I feel that's less damaging than the elastic bands I've been tying my hair back with for years. And aside from the silk being incredibly soft and comfortable, especially to sleep on, you are reducing the friction, I think, with your pillow compared with cotton, and I definitely think that's helpful. Lily Silk products are also Okotext certified. Now, Okotext is a body set up between independent research and testing institutes in Europe and Japan to set industry standards. So it does give you a certain amount of confidence in the silk and why you're paying that price. And I also like that Lily Silk are part of the TerraCycle recycling program. So when the products become worn over time and you're looking to replace them, you can send them back for recycling and get reward points towards a replacement. Silk pillows though are a little high maintenance in that ideally you should hand wash them in cooler water, but I do actually just cool wash mine in the washing machine and they stand up pretty well to that. For a lower cost alternative, I've also ordered these Zima Silk pillowcases from Amazon along the way. They're advertised at roughly the same price as the Lily Silk ones, but they're often heavily reduced on Amazon. They come with a zipper and mine, or one of mine, did burst after a year of heavy use. So I do prefer the quality and envelope design of the Lily Silk products, but it's good to look at the different options out there and different price ranges. The amount of silk used is shown by the mom count, and the higher the mom count, then the tighter the weave basically, and the more silk used. So the lower cost options are usually the 19 mom count, which is what I have, and it's fine. 
still feels silky soft and the silk pillowcases also look great. Now, in the last six months, I've since stepped it up a level because I decided to try out an anti-wrinkle foam pillow, which I mentioned in this video here when I was rounding up some of my top gift choices. I use this multifunctional memory foam pillow from Sleep & Glow. This is their anti-aging Omnia pillow and it's shaped to avoid your face being crushed into the pillow at night, causing the skin creasing. So if you're a side sleeper like me, you can prop your head in the little cutouts at the end. And it's got a head cradle in the middle for comfort if you want to sleep on your back. It also comes with a little foam insert that you can use to adjust the height as well. But I just sleep with the pillow on its own. And I've had a love-hate relationship with this pillow because I would now find it hard to sleep without and I've never had a bad eye day since using this pillow, but it does take a bit of getting used to and that included feeling headachey and getting neck ache at the start while I was adjusting to the firmness and then I think over time I started to notice that the neck stiffness was improving again I don't really ever notice that much and I like sleeping on the edge the cut out edge of the pillow with my face free from pressure the only thing is that the raised height of the cutouts I find a bit annoying and I have to find exactly the right angle to lie on it, which is slightly to the side, before I feel fully comfortable. I mentioned in the last video that it's also a brilliant back and neck support for when you're sitting up in bed reading at night and I would be very tempted to travel with this pillow now. It's just about the right size that I could put it into my handbag with me and use it when I fly. It costs around £139 or just under $200 US to buy. I have a 10% discount code which does help a little bit and I've included that in the video description below. To open the video description you just click where you see the words show more. Now the pillow comes with a soft tensile pillowcase made to measure which is not quite as soft as silk but I did use that quite happily for a while. I recently got a silk case for it too and now I alternate between them. The pillow and silk cases feel to me to be a better investment than say silicone patches which have become very popular for wearing at night, but realistically aren't the most environmentally friendly things and the cost of using them frequently will really stack up over time. I also felt they could cause a little bit of creasing for me around the eyes where the patches end. So it didn't feel like the right nighttime solution for me and there was also a bit of a hassle factor there. A more environmentally friendly alternative to eye patches is an eye mask and I've used and spoken before about this Dr. Harris anti-wrinkle sleep mask. It's priced around £60 in the UK and $80 in the US. Again, I'll share a link in the description. It has these little raised silicone dots on the skin side of the mask which are designed to stimulate receptors in the skin to relax your muscles and help prevent wrinkling and a furrowed brow. It's made from mulberry silk so not only is it very comfortable and it should help prevent lines and kind of has a similar effect to eye patches for overnight wrinkle prevention and anti-puffiness. So that's just another option to just throw into the mix. I'd also love to hear if you use a special pillow or silk cases at night or if you prefer patches or even an eye mask. Let us know in the comments below. It's always great to hear of different product options at different price ranges that have been tried and tested by viewers. I hope you found today's video helpful. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and even consider subscribing if you haven't already to watch more videos from me on this channel. I'll be back next week when I'll be talking to two doctors who specialize in aesthetics to discuss the long-term effects of using Botox and how much is too much. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.